What's going on, guys? Welcome back. FantasyTeamAdvisors.com bringing home the bacon MLB DFS video for this Wednesday hump day, 825. It's almost September. It's crazy. We're super excited. We are 15 days away from fantasy football, but we are still grinding for you. We're still bringing you the MLB content that hopefully you guys have had success with. So if you have, let us know. Um, if you could like the video, that would be awesome. Help the algorithm. If you could leave a comment as well, that helps the algorithm. So if this video gets 30 likes and 30 comments, all you got to do is like the video and leave a comment. We will put out a FanDuel and DraftKings GPP lineup down below. So all you have to do is, if you really want, like the video, uh, leave a comment. Tell me who you think is going to hit a home run and what inning will they hit it in. If you get it correct, both of those, you get the person and the inning. We're going to give you a free week. Multiple people can win. So you get a free week to FTA Plus if that happens. And you might even get some free lineups as well if we get 30 likes and 30 comments. So definitely check that out. Uh, we have a lot of things. Um, so I'm going to show you what we're going to do is we're going to go over this article here. Um, each position, we have some plays that we like. They're not all the plays. All those will be on the cheat sheet, which is part of FTA+. Plus. We'll go through the ballpark rankings to show you what ballparks are in play today, the weather at those ballparks, and who has, like, you'll see all the rankings there, so we'll definitely check that out. We'll look at the top BVP plays as well, which is all on the website. Go to MLB, hover over there. you got MLB stats for the day. Uh, that's already updated. That's updated throughout uh yesterday 824 um, so you can check that out a lot of stats to uh, sort through if you want uh, MLB park rankings which we will go over BVP will go over and then premium content if you are a FTA plus subscriber you can go MLB DFS cheat sheet and lineups as well also we have 15 coupon codes left if you go to FTA plus you go to the year pass use the promo code 300 300 you're going to get $300 off the year pass. You're going to get a year pass for $49.99 instead of $349.99. So definitely check that out. And we are still looking for a couple more uh, fantasy football players for our season-long league. $50 buy-in. Um, want to get that settled soon because we have to draft soon. And all of our NFL content is coming together. Um, the Vegas odds has been updated. Obviously, those will change throughout up until kickoff. Uh, the matchup tool, we have to edit it now because Travis Etienne is out for the year so that'll be updated once roster final roster cuts are there but you can definitely check that out so that being said let's jump right into today's MLB content so we have uh, 14 games um, I don't think all of them will be on there because we do have a double header there uh, some of the pitchers that we like now these are not the only ones are on the screen right now I will go over them I will go through their content here um, and their stats against the team, but there are other ones that we like on the cheat sheet. Uh, so we've got Lance McCullers, uh, like him, 51 plate appearances. He does have a higher 289 batting average against the Royals, but he's striking out 25.5% of those batters, and he should get the run support. Um, you guys, because they're facing Mike Biner and his numbers are not good against the Astros. Uh, you got Zach Davies, uh, 93 plate appearances, a 210 batting average, 16.1% strikeout rate versus the Rockies. We've got uh, Zach Wheeler, 57 plate appearances, a 226 batting average, and 38.6% K against the Rays, which kind of that's a high high strikeout percentage against the Rays. You got Lucas Giolito. This one, he's not the same pitcher he was a couple of years ago, um, but I'll take a flyer on him on GPPs. Uh, 38 plate appearances, a 257 batting average, 26.3 K percentage against the Blue Jays. You got Luis Castillo here uh, facing, obviously, being in the same division as the Brewers. They face each other a ton. He's faced him 196 plate appearances, a 216 batting average against him, 27% K versus the Brewers. And Walker Bueller, 121 plate appearances, a 196 batting average, 26.4 K percentage against the Padres. And, you know, the Padres have really slipped. They were super good, and they've really slipped. Uh, for a while now. I'm not even going to say a couple weeks. It's been a while. Um, they're Honestly, with all the star power the, the Padres have, they're looking like the Padres of old. And uh, that's crazy to think about. The team that they have, the trades that they've made, I get it. They're 
you know, they've had injuries. I, I understand that, but it's crazy. So we'll look at that. Um, those are just six of the pitchers on the slate out of the 28 or 27 because I don't think I don't think the Pirates have announced who they're pitching yet. Um, we will have more on the cheat sheet, so definitely check that out. So if you do have comments or questions, please ask below. I want to try to answer them as quickly as possible. Um, so I am back to working from home for the next about six months. So I am able to answer questions throughout the day on YouTube. I'm able to answer emails. Support at fantasyteamadvisor.com is the email. Follow all of our social media. I can answer those questions for you guys. We have a Discord channel. Get in there. I want it to be active. It's dead right now. Let's get that active. Get in there. Ask the questions. Those are where we can help you. We've got each sport break broke out. Um, if you do sign up for the year pass, we've got MMA, NBA, PGA, MLB, um, NASCAR. Those are there. Uh, we're getting ready to do this week's PGA content because obviously it's tomorrow. And um, that's what you'll get all of that for a year. So definitely check it out. Trust me, 15 coupon codes, they're not going to last. Moving to the catcher position, um, more of a GPP picks, but Mike Zunino here uh, and Carson Kelly and more of my GPP picks where JT Real Muto and Garver are more of my uh, cash options. Garver's coming off a, a good game uh, yesterday against Boston. Uh, went two for four with a double and a single, so I like him there. Zunino, um, he's not been, uh, you know, he's 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 not technically always starting. Apparently, he had a tooth issue, um, so he didn't play for a couple games. Which whatever, I, I get that, um, but he might be under the radar type play today in Zunino. First base, Miggy. Uh, love Miggy here. Um, absolutely love Miggy here. Uh, Pete Alonso. Now, it is an early... It depends on what slate you're playing because we do have early and uh, main slate for most Wednesdays anyway. Um, and we will have that... Uh, we will have an early only and we'll have a main slate for this. So definitely check that out. Um, Joey Votto's been just absolutely on fire. I, I don't think, yeah, I, I honestly, I don't see how it's not. Uh, he's so expensive, though. That's the problem. And um, then Reese Hoskins, definitely make sure. I mean, he's coming back from injury. He came back on, was it Sunday night, and he hit two home runs um, or whatever day he came back. Then he did not play yesterday, but he did pinch it. So he's not injured. I think they were just giving him a day off. So this is something I do like Reese Hoskins here. I think he's cheaper. I think he's going to go under-owned compared to other plays in the first base category. Second base, you got Jose Altuve. Brandon Lau, I like Lau because you can use him both second base and outfield, which is awesome. That's something we need. Um, Gene Segura, if he's in there. So definitely check that out. Uh, should be good to go. Uh, but just kind of monitor that. He's another lefty match, righty matchup, but he really hasn't been doing a ton. Um, hasn't had double digit. Uh, he's had double digit fantasy points once since August 4th, and that was five days ago. Um, he's going against Ryan Yarbrough. You don't know who if he's actually going to face a lefty the whole game because they'll go in and out. And then we got Jazz Chisholm. Uh, he is always a threat for a home run. He's always a threat for a stolen base. He had two stolen bases um, in yesterday's contest, so that is always something to look for. Those are double extra points on top of just getting on base as well. Moving to third base, you got Jose Ramirez, uh, Max Muncy. You can really use him, I think, second and third now, so that's awesome. Uh, Chris Bryant, which you can use in the outfield as well, and Rafael Devers. Make sure you can still use Bryant in the outfield. Yes, you can use him at third base and outfield. So that is awesome there. And then we got Rafael Devers. Um, he's up there in price, but he's he's you know what you're going to get most of the time out of him. Moving to the shortstop, Wander Franco, more of a GPP pick. I don't mind him. Uh, Xander Bogarts, Jake Cronenworth, which you can use Cronenworth um, in other positions as well, I believe, at least on 
draft nope on DraftKings you can only use them at shortstop now he used to have other eligibility there um, and then Marcus Simeon who also can be at second base as well so a lot of versatility with some of these plays um, and then outfield I'm not going to go over all of them uh, on the cheat sheet we'll probably have upwards of more than 20 uh, but we got Juan Soto, Fran Mil Reyes, Austin Meadows, Kyle Schwarber, and Fernando Tatis Jr., which you can use Tatis outfield and shortstop as well. So those are just some of the plays. If you would, please click the link down below. This article is in the description. And if you would share that, that would be awesome. Uh, we are going to have a contest. Um, and I will have details on that contest, but it'll be a contest of... Anyone who signs up for a um, a pass on the website for FTA Plus, whether or not it's a day, a week, a month, or the whole a full year, uh, you're going to get entries into a contest, and we'll run that for a certain amount of time. And uh, the winner, there'll be two winners, and the winners will receive a digital copy of Madden 22. Um, so I will get that those details out there. And uh, yeah, so uh, definitely let me know if that's interesting to you and check it out so just kind of we will build a core lineup on DraftKings after this but looking at the um, let's see you can't see it so looking at the uh, the ballpark rankings for the day uh, we do have Wrigley has a chance of rain they did get postponed yesterday uh, the storm went through here last night and as of now and it's moving that way so that is something to look at, partly sunny with thunderstorms. Uh, so I don't know if you're going to be using um, these pitchers at all, depending on if you're playing early. But uh, that is something to look at. But yeah, um, most as of now, that's really the only concern is the weather in Chicago. I mean, then you can see the ballpark. So um, if you want to see the most amount of games, you want to see the runs total. So if you want to sort it by the park that's given up the most amount of runs that's Fenway so Nick Pavetta versus, versus Bailey Ober I kind of like the twins as a like a contrarian stack that people will be off of um, I think we could get a lot of exposure with a twin stack I think it'll be lower owned and if it goes off that's even better so that's something to look at um, it ranks fifth overall on all the stadiums obviously not all of them are in play only half of them are in play today uh, but fifth overall um, with a rating home run total i mean if you want to go through what active stadium has the most amount of home runs on this slate you could look at oriole park at camden yards um we don't know who's pitching for the orioles but we know otani is pitching for the angels we had an angel stack yesterday i think they were our top stack on our cheat sheet yesterday and they went they what 15 runs um i think that could happen again i think you want to you know you want to um Target this field if you're going to build a lineup. And then so we're looking at the Angels again. I think they're going to be highly owned because of yesterday. But this ballpark ranks number one in home runs. They've given up almost 200 home runs already. Um, they're averaging 3.4 home runs a game, which is nuts. And that's to say that's because the Orioles pitching is terrible. Uh, but yeah, so you can really sort this however you want. Slugging, slugging, ranking. Like you can see slugging number one, home runs number one, run rank number three for Orioles Park. So that is just another facet of building DFS lineups for MLB that you might not have thought of. Look at the ballparks. Look at what fields give up what. That can help you as well. Then look at the weather. Oriole Park, mostly sunny. Then you can look and see which way the wind is blowing that helps even more. So building that through there, definitely check that out. We will, um, hopefully it helps you. I, I really hope it does. So we, we'll just go uh, the ranking here. So we'll just sort it by the runs ranks and you can go there. Uh, still waiting for Baltimore to do that. Looking at daily BVP here, um, Miggy at the top against Lester, 28 at bats, batting 536, one home run, four RBIs. Uh, he hit number 501 yesterday, uh, home run number 501. So uh, he would be in the early slate, but definitely check that out. Miggy's at the top there. Then you've got some Oriole bats here against Mike Miner, batting 296, 370. Uh, Yuli's got three home runs. You can sort it by home runs. You can sort it by at bats. It really depends if you want to see who has the most amount of home runs. Yuli Donaldson against Pavetta, 3 3. 
Votto against Woodruff, two, batting 318. A lot of these multi home run people are batting 300 plus. So that is something to look at. Um, we'll just go by at bats. You can come in here, you can sort it. So if you come here and you go to MLB and let's say you go daily BVP, um, it's going to fill the, sh the. These are most, these are better suited for uh, PC and desktop um, instead of uh, just because of the charts and everything uh, it's better sorted for a desktop but you come through here and you can come down to the bottom and click this button right here it'll open it up large so then you can check it out that don't worry about that um, it'll be refreshed uh, click that and check that out and it'll help you out there um, and you can obviously see it better uh, it's not going to be as um, small when you look at it it is for some reason with obs it's it's small on the screen but when you see it it's it's way better so i don't i don't understand that so uh, but that is daily bvp and then we come to here and we are um and you can see the screen better there so just kind of looking um, and this is the main slate. We do have an early slate as well, so definitely check that out. So Otani, I mean, he's obviously at the top. Uh, is I mean, you're not going to get everything because of batting and stuff, but he is pitching, and the Orioles are bad. So I would definitely just throw him in there. He's only 8,700, which is crazy. I'd throw him in there. I'd throw Walker Bueller in there. He's got great numbers. Um, if you want to go cheaper, depending on what you're building, I mean, I, I would look at that to begin with. Uh, really, really like Otani in this one. Um, so yeah, you, you move to catcher, and you can use the plays we have, or you might have other options there, depending on what you want to do. Uh, you can go through, and uh, like Mitch Garver, like I said, I don't mind him against Pavetti's 3,900, coming off a couple of good games there, so I'd put Mitch Garver in there. Um, then we move to first base. It really depends. Like I said, Max Muncy, you can use him. Can you use Muncie as second base too? Nope. So Muncie's only first and third eligible. Um, on my season long, he's second base. So that's where he plays. But um, against Darvish, you know, you really never know who, what Darvish is going to show up. Joey Votto has good numbers. Uh, we can't use Miggy because he was in the early game. So just kind of looking. If you want to go back, I mean, you can even sort it by, you know, custom filter, or, you know, or you just do that, and it'll bring first base up first. So, yeah, so Miggy, Yuli is there. So, yeah, looking at Yuli, what price is Yuli? Is he in the early game, though? Yeah, they're in the early game. So you can't use Houston. Uh, but then Joey Votto comes up against Woodruff, who's had success. So I'm going to go Votto just because for the fact that, I mean, he's on fire this season. What is he batting now? 281 with 28 home runs. I mean, he's really come on strong. Really come on strong. So I am putting him in there. Um, and, yeah, I mean, the pricing's up there, but you can st still average 3,700. So looking at second base, uh, if you want to sort it by second base, like we said, you got Altuve. Um, who's early? You got Colton Wong against Luis Castillo, 22. So Colton Wong is how high up here is he? Colton Wong at 3,900. He fits perf a little bit over the 3,700. But yeah, I mean, you, and again, you can if you want to stack is the thing. Uh, this the game that I would stack obviously is this one because like I said, this is where the, the most amount of runs have scored. Um, so you can look at, let's say, third base. Who do you want for third base? Really, you know, you're never going to know who's there. I think Franco got DFA'd. Yeah, Franco got DFA'd on Monday. So um, just kind of looking who who's going to play, who's in there. You never know. Um, so shortstop, you could look at that game as well. Iglesias, we had him yesterday. Um, he went off. He's only 3,700 again. Love me some Iglesias. Uh, revenge factor, if you want to say it, because he's facing his old team, and he's had success there. So that still fits our narrative of 3,700 around there. Um, you could, Joe Adele had a home run yesterday. 
had a good game. He's 3,200. You could stack there. I'm just going to do a stack here and show you, but this is not necessarily where we're going. Um, outfield, Austin Hayes. It, it It's really hard because you, you don't want to take Baltimore, obviously, because you're pitching Otani. So if we're looking at just, just L.A. Um, here, Brandon Marsh, had a good game there, had uh, four hits and six at-bats, didn't even have a home run, but had four hits and got 20 fantasy points, and he's 2,700. So just look at the lineup you can use or build around if you're looking at like an L.A. stack here. Um, a, a really good uh, strategy building lineups is a double stack. So say you're, you're look two teams. Normally, if you go go back and look at winners in previous contests of yours in first place or you know the first top whatever you're playing in it's normally two team stack and then a couple of pitchers um, at least on DraftKings with the two pitchers uh, but yeah you're always seeing like a um, like yesterday what I assume yesterday just let me look real quick yesterday uh, looking and this is on FanDuel so this this doesn't this isn't DraftKings but looking at my contest from yesterday history let's see okay so the top score yesterday on our FanDuel one was 268.7 and just looking at their stack it was they had Boston 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 San Francisco San Francisco San Francisco Boston San Francisco so they stacked that game and then had Luis Garcia pitching so and that was 268 so you're gonna see that most of the time you're gonna see a double stack two teams um, take down a, a contest nine times out of ten if not ten out of ten uh, so uh, this kind of obviously wouldn't show that uh, building this lineup but that's what I would look at so looking at LA um, and then if you want to look at the BVP not the BVP but uh, you could look at the Vegas odds and you could see which teams are projected to have the most amount of uh, run scored and just kind of looking at that real quick let's see and hopefully this helps you if it does guys hit that like button please I t a lot of time goes into these articles and these stats and these videos I would love to see what we're doing to help you guys out so just kind of looking at building a max projected stacks here uh, Boston against Bailey Ober might be good uh, Houston against Mike Miner um, I really like, I, I, you don't know which uh, Blake Snell is going to come through uh, as of now. It, well, is it going to be Blake Snell? Or who's pitching for the Padres today? I thought it was you, Darvish. No, it's Snell. So it, it's Bueller versus Snell. Um, the Dodgers against uh, Snell. I know he's been pretty good lately, but you never know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it really depends. Find those two teams to stack. I, If you could fit in a Boston and uh, Angel stack, I don't mind that. Um, let's see if we could fit in a Boston stack here real quick. Hopefully you're still with us. I know it's a longer video, but uh, it, it should help you build out some lineups here. Uh, so, yeah, so let's see. Um, Five five. E. J D Martinez against Ober. He hasn't been doing anything lately. Uh, Verdugo against Ober. Twenty. I mean, look at that. Twenty six and twenty three. So if we draft him, he's thirty five hundred. He still fits under that. So you could be looking at that. Um, let's see. Third base for out. Or it'd be obviously Devers, but um, and he's had double. So let's just say third base. We put Devers in there. Obviously, we're over by only 200. So you could take Votto out. Um, let's say you take Garver out. And if we're looking for two more Boston bats. So who would be Christian Vasquez against Ober? He's 3,200. Connor Wong, I don't think, is on the... Yeah, he was, he was optioned. Um, so you could go Vasquez there. Uh, let's just throw Christian Vat, and then that's 5,500 for a first baseman. Um, Dahlback, he's not, did he get sent down? No, he's still up. Um, Travis Shaw, 
he just had a good game yesterday, or he's had back-to-back good games since coming from Boston, or to Boston. Uh, so you could throw him in there. I mean, you still have 1,800 there, so you could be looking at, um, I mean, Colton Long had good numbers. You know, shortstop, can we get Bogarts at 5,600? Yeah, we can. not Oh, you see? So if we can get, did Bogarts do good yesterday? No, he didn't do anything yesterday. But uh, you would have a feeling he might. So you could get Bogarts in there, and then we could figure out, let's move 100 somewhere. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Boston, uh, 2 Angels. Um, it really depends. Uh, we need to figure out how to move 1 here. So if you don't want to go Otani, you don't want to go, uh, let's say you don't want to go Bueller, you get 9,600. Uh, you could come back here. Go all games, salary, Castillo against Milwaukee's had good numbers. Um, let's see, has he fa when's the last time he faced them? Faced him back on June, July 17, 24.1. So, I mean, I don't mind that lineup. That's It's not a bad lineup, just looking at that. Um, so that's just a um, kind of a thought process building around a lineup. I wouldn't say do this lineup. Uh, I'm probably going to tweak it a little bit. You know, Wong has good numbers, but it depends on if. I mean, if you if you get those two teams that you want to stack around, look to see if there's any other plays that you like. Um, because if everyone uses this lineup and it, it does dominate, then everyone's going to split. Um, so this is just a thought process when I'm building my lineup. This is like you literally watched me go through a process. Um, and it's the same way with NFL. We're going to do that with NFL. The content is coming. Um, week one's already out there. Uh, obviously, we're 15 days away. And um, I can't believe we're only we're 15 days. I love NFL. There's nothing better than watching all day, watch, seeing how we did all day, and then watch, playing some showdowns on Sunday Night Football. So super excited for it. Um, any questions for MLB, NFL, anything, let me know. Again, guys, if this video gets 30 likes and 30 comments, we'll put out a FanDuel and DraftKings GPP lineup down below. might be a little bit different from this one. So um, questions, comments, concerns, get those below. Follow all of our social media. Follow us. Come to our Discord channel down below. Let's get some content and questions in there as well. And we will be, again, fantasyteamadvisors.com slash plans. Click the year button. F Join. Use promo code 300 300. Get $300 off for a year pass. 15 coupon codes left, and that is it. Good luck today, and as always, let's bring home some bacon. Peace.